name is Sharif Inawi. I'm a PhD candidate uh, in the Construction Management Group. I'm also a junior fellow at Massey College, and my supervisor is Tamir El Darabi. I'm from Egypt. Uh, before coming here, I uh, finished my bachelor's degree in Egypt. Uh, and then I decided to come to UFC for my master's. It was uh, one of the few programs that offered risk management as part of sustainable planning, and I uh, really liked that. I wanted that. And then I moved on to my PhD in civil engineering. Uh, for my research, I'm looking at how we can engage communities and the public uh, in planning, especially planning cities and infrastructure. And I'm doing that through uh, knowledge management. So that's my methodology. I'm looking at the experiences that people have and uh, if we can somehow effectively put that into uh, construction projects. So if you look, for example, at any construction project, there's a lot of noise, there's uh, road closures. That affects the way people live. And uh, in order to work on that and minimize that kind of disruption, we need to uh, take a few steps back and look at design and planning. Uh, people who live in these areas and people who own businesses have a lot to say and uh, I've designed a framework that uh, looks at these things and, uh, and helps us extract this kind of knowledge from the people. I'm looking at the process, how it works, what kind of knowledge is entailed in that process uh, and I've gone back, looked at civil engineering methodologies and I'm uh, putting all that knowledge into the process of civil engineering and seeing if we can bridge that gap. So members of the public have a lot of ways now uh, through which they can engage with the city, uh, with planners. Uh, but what I'm looking at through my framework is something that's deeper. Look at a street. A street has trees, it has street furniture, it has utilities that are underground, uh, it has the pavement, the sidewalk, different w ways of using that street. Uh, so I have to define each of these to a computer um, and it's actually written as a program. So you put in something that says, what is a function? Um, you say a function is uh, some kind of an action. So one function could be minimizing noise. Another function could be uh, having people safely cross st uh, streets. So these are all functions that we have to put into the computer so that it would know what kinds of activities are related to what functions, what kind of construction products are related to which functions. So I have to define each of these and that's what I've defined in my framework. Um, I've done that using a language that's called OWL, which is an ontology definition language. Uh, so I've coded that so that now it can be put into any computer program and that makes the computer program able to reason using knowledge that is solid, that is based on civil engineering literature and, and research. First off, being in the city of Toronto, right in the center, it's, uh, it's uh, giving me a lot of access to projects. We have construction sites all around and all I have to do is usually uh, just show up on the day off and then I can uh, get the information I need and head back to the office right away and it doesn't waste any time that way. Adding to that, uh, being part of uh, a program that's an environmental collaborative program, and uh, I get to uh, sit around and uh, talk to other students and uh, see what they have to say. Some of them were from forestry, some from agriculture, architecture, uh, talk to people from sociology and geography, and that's giving me a lot of insights that I've put into my uh, project. The department also at, of civil engineering has provided me with a lot of help uh, through giving me other things to talk about than my academic experiences. Uh, so I've been involved in a lot of clubs and activities. I was the president of the Canadian Society for Civil Engineering. Uh, I was lucky enough to um, get sent on a trip to represent the university in Hong Kong uh, last summer. We got to see the projects, the labs. Uh, I got to appreciate how different the climate is and the, the construction industry is in Hong Kong. As it comes to my own career, I, uh, I'd like to get some grounding in reality before I uh, ever move back to academia. Uh, I'll take any opportunity that comes my way that presents itself in the best way.